Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I am reviewing the new, uh, fairly new cigar from Roma Craft, the Cro Magnon Le ATL ATL Lancero, and here it is. Seven by 38, quite long, quite thin, quite dark. There is the density. It actually has a good feel in the hand for a Lancero. It has a little weight. Now this cigar is made of a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, a Cameroon binder and Nicaraguan filler. As I said, it's seven by 38. There is a little additional information on the blog about the cigar, but for now, let's just get right to it. Um, Roma Craft and the Crow Magnet line has done well with me in the past. This is a very little cigar and usually Lanceros have a different flavor, better flavor, more pop. We'll see. We'll see. So let's get right to it. The Roma Craft Cro Magnon L E A T L A T L Lancero. All right, cutting this will be no problem. Now, uh, sort of a flat head, flat cap. Might be advantageous to snip it off just past that. Okay, that's good. Okay, there we go. We took we took off right here. It's a very dark cigar. There's quite a bit of dark coffee, dark chocolate brown sugar with somewhat like a very dark molasses but you know the funny thing is it's not overly sweet there is a lot of black pepper a coarse ground strong black pepper at roughly an eight it's quite strong and there in there is some nutmeg mixed in there which holds down some of the sweetness too so that's uh, that's sort of how you start it's very dark Almost a thick darkness to this cigar at this point. Well, we're at the first third and uh, burning pretty evenly. The flavors have sort of developed a little more. They've, they've spread out a little bit. There are some caramel notes in there now, but it's still very dark that uh, dark coffee, chocolate, and molasses keep it very dark, like black strap molasses. You ever heard of that? The nutmeg keeps the sweetness down. There is caramel on that front end too, which I didn't mention. It's not a great deal of it, but the um, I'm sure the Cameroon uh, binder is bringing that out, but it's, it's it's uh, very well uh, concealed. It's, it's hidden to a, a larger degree because of the darker notes. The finish is actually one of that caramel with a touch of nutmeg on it and some decent lingering black pepper. Medium. It's pretty much medium to full. Even though it's early, it's it's medium to full. The cigar is 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 good, but it's with all the dark notes and, and the sweetness coming out. Uh, it's it's on the border with me as far as at this point. Uh, I'm I'm starting the scoring at ninety, and we'll see what happens from that point. Ninety being, would I even think of smoking this again? Mm. Yeah, I'm on the border. 
So let's see what happens next. Well, here we are at the end of the second third. And you know, I said before, there's a lot of nutmeg in this cigar. It's coming across now as if it's not just nutmeg, but light, clean leather. The sweetness has actually gone down. The same flavor notes are there, but it's just less sweetness. And if in fact there is leather in this cigar, and that's what I'm picking up is taking away some of the sweetness, it combining with the nutmeg is robbing the cigar of a lot of sweetness. The finish is much more nutmeg on it now and less caramel. The pepper remains very good in the cigar. This cigar is just is so dark noted, but it doesn't have the sweetness that I need. And it, it's very high in nutmeg and now leather. The second third on lowering the score to 88. I'm hopeful that the final third will bring us good news, but that's where I stand on it right now. down to the end so let's wrap it up here in the end the the chocolate notes came out they're not sweet it's just chocolate okay the leather decreased the nutmeg actually went down somewhat but along with it the sweetness went away or down more very close to full body you could probably call it full body it's a low grade full body Finishes unchanged. But uh, this cigar started out decent and for me went away. It, it, it just dropped, dropped off. Each segment got a little bit less enjoyable. Final third, I'm rating at 87. You know, every Lancero I've had has, has been very good and, and surpassed. The larger ring cigars this lancero did just didn't didn't have a lot of what i personally like uh the combination the flavors albeit good this didn't have enough sweetness and wasn't uh separated out well enough it didn't congeal well overall score is 88.33 and that is your score and I'm perfect perfectly okay with that because that's about where it needs to be in my opinion sorry I couldn't give you better news but there you have it the Romacraft Cro-Magnon LE ATL ATL Lancero mouthful 88.33 <music>